this one has been a long overdue video and the most requested video on the channel. My apologies for the delay. If you remember, I fitted the Power Rage exhaust to the interceptor about 10 months ago. The plan was to do a sound check after fitting the pipes and a separate video of a flyby with and without baffles. I was actually quite hesitant to do one without the baffles as it becomes really loud, which can then be a nuisance to the neighbors. But I got sidetracked in making other content and this idea was shelved. Now I got a lot of comments asking for a proper soundcheck video of the Power Rage exhausts and I kept delaying it subconsciously. So let's get on with the long term review of these pipes. Granted that these pipes are not for everyone, some like it and some don't. And that is the best thing about customization. You get to make it your own in your own way. I am going to cover the sounds that these exhausts make with and without baffles towards the end of the video. There are a few benefits to fitting these pipes and I have covered about 8000 kilometers with these pipes with the baffles in. I have never ridden without the baffles as I just don't want that really loud noise. Generally speaking, any performance pipe will make the motorcycle gain that mid-range power at the expense of top-end performance. I can neither confirm nor deny that this is the case for Power Rage as I don't want to push the bike to its limits. This is mainly for two reasons. I love my bike and I have only one. But that is okay I believe, because if we do ride our motorcycles in top speed all the time, one of two things is sure to happen. We meet a cop or we meet God. I am God. Bottom line, these pipes provide the rider more power in the reserve to overtake. The baffles are made of stainless steel and are of a standard design. Make sure you are careful in removing them or putting them back on. The screw on them is tiny and the angle and the placement doesn't make it easy to reach with fingers. Just make sure you don't drop it inside the exhaust while doing so, else, well, you'll have to remove the pipe to take it out. The baffles do seem to quiet the pipe somewhat, but I don't think they deprive you of that power in mid-range. In my opinion, these will give a very worthwhile power gain over the OEM pipes. and. Interestingly, about the fuel consumption, people have often asked me whether it will affect the mileage or people say that the bike uses more fuel after fitting it with performance exhaust. I don't think that is the issue. I don't think that is true at all. It all comes down to the people that get more enthusiastic with acceleration because they often like the sound of the pipes and that's what affects the fuel consumption, not the pipes. And also, very positive benefit of these pipes is that the engine runs cooler. The OEM pipes tend to get very hot very quickly. And I have noticed on these that even after riding for 50 kilometers, if you touch the pipe, it is just warm. So they allow a lot more heat to escape. And keep in mind, I do have a KNN air filter installed with an air filter plate which makes the bike gain a bit more power. If you have the standard air filter installed, it might not be as noticeable. Right, let's get on with the sound check. Bear in mind that the camera audio doesn't do justice to what the human ear hears. I picked a decent location, but still there were some airplanes going over which I had no control over. I didn't clean the audio whatsoever. So here we go. First, an idle sound of the pipes with the baffles in and a flyby of them followed by the rider's perspective and then the same thing without the baffles.
So there you have it. I really like the sound with the baffles in. The link to them is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video and in doing so, helping to support the channel. I really appreciate it. Please, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.